President Reif, um, MIT has long been at the forefront of uh, technology. Uh, you recently announced a, a major new initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, I, I think the most important thing is to, for all of us in higher education, in, in education really in general, to realize that, that things have changed and that uh, society needs uh, uh, a different kind of graduate. Um, and I'm calling those graduates bilinguals, people who understand their discipline, understand their profession, but also understand how to use these novel computing AI tools to practice their profession. So I felt it was important to do two things, to educate the graduates of tomorrow that will drive society, that will drive the economy. So the College of Computing, the Schwarzman College of Computing will allow us to integrate artificial intelligence and computing in everything you study at MIT. So every major, uh, you will graduate knowing your discipline, but knowing how to use these tools in your discipline. So if you're studying economics or social science or humanities, <laughs> artificial intelligence and understanding how to use that and to manipulate that will be very much part of what you learn. It's going to be part of what we learn, uh, our students will learn, it's going to be part of the future. I, I think there is, uh, it's going to be more powerful than math. You cannot imagine today or for years a uh, graduate of engineering or science not knowing math. Uh, well, this is even more powerful because the disciplines you mentioned, whether it's political science, whether it's uh, any kind of uh, uh, social studies, there have plenty of data there and how to use that data, manipulate it. Uh, urban planning uh, is going to be important for how you practice your profession. What will that talk about artificial intelligence? Everybody's very focused on it. There's a lot of hype about it. There's a lot of fears. People are going to worry that they're going to, everybody's going to be out of a job, that everything's going to be done by, by machine learning. Where do you see artificial intelligence from your position? Uh, how do you see it developing and what does it mean for the future of work? Well, the risk is very high that uh, we, are, we may use artificial intelligence or those kinds of tools uh, not the best way. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of tendency today. Uh, you see the first, way, the first ways of applying it, uh, basically replacing labor. And, uh, and that has had and will continue to have immense consequences in society. I think we need to think about artificial intelligence that empowers labor, uh, that, that augments what we do, and not to replace what we do. And in fact, part of the goal of the college is as we educate people to use these tools, to educate them to use them in a way that empowers human beings, not replace human beings. What about ethical concerns? A lot of people have very big ethical concerns beyond questions like uh, the future of work, but, but data and artificial intelligence uh, is getting so sophisticated, people, it can be used uh, in all kinds of ways, especially related to uh, biotechnology. We can do all kinds of things now in terms of understanding our genes and, 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 the, and the way we have genetic predispositions. All of that is coming together and it's creating concerns about that we're creating a world of machines, essentially, and machines are uh, without any kind of moral code, without any ethics. How do, how do we tackle those problems as machines get more and more intelligent? Well, again, we have to start with education. I think uh, uh, those are serious concerns. I mean, when, once you have machines that can make decisions mm. and there is no human intervention in those decisions, that could be trouble. And that's a major the source of those ethical issues. So, so how close do you think we are to that point? No, we are not close to that point. Uh, uh, we are nowhere near that point. But that point is going to happen, um, maybe not in five or ten years, but eventually. So we have to educate our society, our graduates, our experts, on these kinds of risks and how to assess and address those kinds of risks. President Reif, thank you for joining us on a very chilly morning. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.